Hey guys, it's Chris. From the woman who tried to kill her boyfriend with a samurai sword, to orchestrating a fake funeral to get revenge on her partner. Here's what happens when girlfriends go wrong. Number 10. Samurai Girlfriend Emily Javier has pled guilty to attempted murder. That's right, murder. As it turns out, she was not a very good girlfriend. And it sounds like she had some serious red flags that her boyfriend probably should have spotted ahead of time. The 31-year-old woman from Washington State attacked her boyfriend and tried to slice him to pieces with a samurai sword in 2018 after accusing him of being unfaithful and becoming angry that he played too many video games. After the attack, she was sentenced to 19 years in prison. The charge was attempted first-degree domestic violence murder. She had no prior criminal history and the court actually asked for 20 years, but she got off with one year less. This was no simple samurai attack, it was brutal. After dating for two years, Emily discovered the Tinder app on her boyfriend's cell phone. I mean, I guess that's kind of his own fault for being a bit of a scumbag, but even scumbags don't really deserve to be stabbed with swords, at least not in the eyes of the law. Emily was so upset that she purchased a sword from a mall in Vancouver, got her boyfriend good and drunk, and once he was asleep, she attacked. She messed up the attack though. Instead of slicing his throat with the sword, she hit him with the blunt end of it, waking him up. He fought back and managed to make her stop. Though he still lost a few of his fingers, got lacerations all over his body, and was cut so badly that metal plates had to be used to repair some of his bones. Prison time for her and permanent injuries for him. Perhaps they should have tried couples counseling first. Number 9. Naked and Angry Amelia Oxenford got busted on film throwing her boyfriend Alex out of their hotel room. The 21-year-old woman had stripped naked and attacked her boyfriend with a wine bottle while wasted at their hotel. This happened in West London, with CCTV surveillance cameras catching her chasing the guy through a corridor completely naked and trying to bust the bottle open on his head. Apparently, the couple had gotten drunk together and then argued about Amelia seeing another man while they had been separated briefly. By the time the police had arrived at the scene, Amelia had already slashed open her boyfriend's nose with a shard of glass. But you might say being young and gorgeous really does pay off, because Amelia only got a night in jail and a fine of just over $300. She really did just try and stab her boyfriend to death with a wine bottle, and yet she got away pretty much scot-free, being ordered to complete a simple rehabilitation of 160 hours of unpaid work. Do you think that's fair that this young woman was only sentenced to community service, or should her punishment have been more severe? What would you have done if you were the judge? Tell me your thoughts in the comments section below. Number 8. Remote Envy Do you ever argue about who gets to hold the remote? Well, some people take it really, really personally. And for this couple, this is what made a girlfriend finally snap. A Florida woman got into some hot water after attacking her elderly boyfriend because they got into an argument over the TV remote. According to the New York Daily News, 23-year-old Amber Black was charged with assaulting an elderly person over the age of 65 and obstruction of justice after the incident in Palm Beach County. She tried to cut her boyfriend up with her fingernails and allegedly squeezed his groin area in such a way as to rip his private parts off of his body. She also punched him in the face and just went absolutely crazy with her attack on him. But here's where the lines begin to blur. This is a weird incident where the girlfriend's attack is also counted as elder abuse. When the boyfriend tried calling for help, she smashed the phone against the wall and screamed at him, You're old and I'm stronger than you. In the end, the boyfriend had injuries to his shoulder, his thigh, and his face. The girlfriend, on the other hand, was released on bond. Whether the two are dating still is currently unknown. It's also unknown what channel the guy was trying to watch that caused the girl to get so angry about his hogging the remote control. So what kind of strange situation was going on here anyway? This young woman was dating a senior citizen and their relationship was so rocky that she attacked him? I guess you never know what just might push someone over the edge. What's your deal breaker? What pushes your buttons? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to World List before you go. Number 7. Friends with Dad Laura Jane Abram, 29 years old, was a pretty good girlfriend. That is, until she found out her boyfriend Calvin had messed around with another girl on the side. Rather than attacking him with a sword or trying to rip his face off, she got her revenge in a slightly sneakier way. From this point, the story gets pretty creepy for all parties involved. Laura started dating Calvin when she was just 16 years old, and they were together for a very long time. But ever since the beginning, she had suspected that Calvin's father had feelings for her, and that's pretty disturbing on all counts. 
After becoming a grown woman and having Calvin cheat on her, after over 10 years of being together, she was so angry that she tracked down his father and became intimate with him in the back of his car. She actually referred to it as a night of passion. Since this little bud of revenge, the relationship has ended and Laura says she's never been happier. Whether she and the young man's father are still passionately involved in weird locations like the back of a car, well, Laura really didn't say. Number 6. Not giving up the goods A woman from Georgia named Tabitha Lee Grooms, 35, got into some trouble after beating up her boyfriend and her 66-year-old mother. The reason why is quite frankly shocking. According to the report from the Richmond County Sheriff's Office, Grooms became upset after her boyfriend refused to be intimate with her. She ran off and went out drinking. When she arrived back home that night, she attacked her boyfriend with her teeth and nails, scratching up his face and biting him on the arms. Her boyfriend was so afraid that he ran into the bathroom and locked the door and called 911. Then when her mother heard all the commotion, she came out to investigate. But Grooms told her mother to mind her own business and punched her in the eye. Then when the police showed up, she threatened to run over the police with a baby stroller. It sounds like this woman was more than a little drunk and clearly had little control over her emotions or actions. At the end, she was charged with two counts of battery. I just hope her boyfriend decides to break things off with her. Cause that's just wild. Number 5. A Long Payment Plan A young British lady named Harriet wasn't exactly a bad girlfriend, but she certainly came up with a brilliant revenge plot against her ex-boyfriend that some might call genius. She broke up with her boyfriend Dan after finding out that he was cheating. You might say Dan was not the brightest bulb in the drawer. After being busted with another woman, rather than crawling away and being ashamed of himself, he got angry and asked to be repaid for a ticket he had purchased for Harriet to join him at a Justin Bieber concert. This all seems completely insane and it's honestly hard to believe these people are out there, but that's what the boyfriend did. I suppose if he thought he was getting broken up with, he might as well try to get his pocket change back. So Harriet decided she'd pay him back. She made a payment plan to send him one cent every day until the full amount was paid. Doing the math, it'll take about 17 years for him to get repaid. I have a feeling he's just gonna forget about it after a while. What do you think? Number four, looking at other women. A woman had a very heated argument with her boyfriend on an airplane that ended with her being charged with assault, kicked off the airplane and a whole lot of bystanders screaming in horror. It all started after most of the people on the plane had been seated. Apparently, the boyfriend was looking at other women. But whether he had wandering eyes or not, her behavior was downright embarrassing. She screamed profanity while others on the plane tried to tell her that a baby was seated behind her and that she needed to lower her voice. Instead of doing that, she just got angrier. The flight attendants asked the woman to leave. Her boyfriend got up first and tried to run away, and she chased him down the aisle and hammer-fisted his back. The man screamed out, ah, you're assaulting me! Though to be completely honest, it was really more of a slap. And it certainly wasn't a samurai sword to the face. I think the boyfriend was being a little bit childish here, but the girlfriend was certainly in the wrong overall. In the end, both the angry girlfriend and the whining boyfriend got off the plane and had to deal with the Miami-Dade Police Department. Number 3. Attack with a Burger A girlfriend in Florida has just spent three months in jail for beating up her boyfriend with a burger. That's right, with a cheeseburger. According to the Pineless County arrest affidavit, Tanya Corradero denied smashing the burger into her victim's face, though when the police arrived at the scene, her boyfriend most certainly had hamburger bits stuck in his ear. Conflict allegedly began inside the trailer that the couple lived in. The argument was over whether to keep a window open or closed, and it somehow escalated into violence, at which point Tanya essentially tried to shove the burger down her boyfriend's throat, saying to him that she hoped he'd choke on it. Such an act caused her to be charged with misdemeanor domestic battery, at which point she spent three months in jail. But seriously, where are these people coming from? I swear it sounds like total nonsense to me. What are they up to behind closed doors these days? It's high time some of these people learn to use their words rather than physically fight, don't you think? Number 2. Pepper Spray Toilet Paper A girlfriend recently got fed up with her boyfriend's pranks and decided to out-prank him. The woman was dating someone who made YouTube videos and was constantly pranking her. So she waited until her boyfriend left the apartment. Then she played the cruelest trick ever. She took toilet paper from the bathroom and soaked it in pepper spray. As you can probably imagine, pepper spray is not something you want to be wiping with. It would be like pouring salt on an open wound, except way worse and far more excruciating. The girlfriend put the toilet paper back into the bathroom and waited for her boyfriend to come home. 
She then had to wait until he went to the bathroom, of course, but when he finally did, her diabolical plan paid off. Within just a couple minutes, he came roaring out of the bathroom in pain, clutching at his bottom. The girlfriend laughed, the boyfriend rolled around on the floor in agony, and the girlfriend offered to give the poor guy some ice to cool down, which he soon realized was also coated in pepper spray. In this case, it was the girlfriend who would become the ultimate prankster. Number 1. A Fake Funeral A girlfriend made a fake funeral for her boyfriend. The reason behind the fake funeral is nothing short of preposterous. First of all, the woman thought that her boyfriend was cheating on her. She didn't like that at all. So she decided to convince her boyfriend's alleged mistress that he was dead. This was her evil plan to get back at the guy and you know, there are really two sides to every story. Now, she may have been a girlfriend or maybe vindictive is a better word, but he was also a bad boyfriend. He cheated on her right after she gave birth to their child. Not only that, but he may have been cheating on her the whole time she was pregnant. And things get even more wild. Shortly after discovering her boyfriend's cheating ways, he went to jail. It's not clear why, but we know he was out of the picture. Taking advantage of this absence, the woman messaged the mistress he had been cheating on her with, telling her the man was dead. She then used her own sister to carry out the fake funeral. Pictures were posted on social media. The scenario looked totally real, and everyone thought he was a goner. This lie has lasted for three years so far, and every year the mistress commemorates the love of her life's death on social media. She still thinks he's dead. Meanwhile, he's locked up behind bars and can't do anything to prove he's alive. It all just sounds like a bunch of silly people acting foolish on social media, if you ask me. What do you think would be a funny way to get back at a cheating partner? Hopefully not one that involves jail time for either party though, okay? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back soon for another awesome video.